Hey guys, this is Trent, founder and president of WatchmanAdvisors.com. So today I'm going to be uh, teaching you how to go about using the Google Keyword Planner to help you uh, select or identify and niche keywords. So as we've been talking about in this uh, tutorial, we've been uh, talking about what a niche is and we've um, basically defined a niche as a specific need okay, that someone has out there that they're willing to pay for a solution for right now. In fact, people are paying for that solution right now as we speak. They're paying that money to other people or companies right now. And why not have some of that money come to you, okay? And so in order to do that successfully, we need to uh, identify a specific need that we're willing to help someone out with and, and, and then move forward with identifying you know, some suppliers or how to go about presenting that solution to them. So whether or not you're building up a, a digital product business or a tangible business like an e-commerce site, for example. So regardless of whatever type of business you're building up, um, niche selection is very, very important you know, because at the very basis of your business is people. And you're in the people business, whether you like it or not, when you're building up a business, okay, you're all about going out there and helping people out. And so that's one of the cool things about having a business is it's, it's there to help people out with solving a specific need or a problem that they urgently want help with. And you know, if that need or solution that they want help with is not already in the general circulation of free stuff out there, okay, meaning that's not readily available, okay, if it's not readily available to them right now, then they're usually gonna search out a solution for that. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully you get the idea of what a niche is and why that's so important. Okay? People pay money to get their specific need solved okay? or their specific aspiration um, solved or even brought closer to the attainment of um, either one of them. So just keep that in mind as we start to discuss how to use the Google Keyword Planner to help you identify words that give you insight into uh, you know people's needs so you can solve them okay and so to get started you'll first need a, a Google AdWords account and to get an AdWords account you simply come to uh, Google AdWords so adwords.google.com you can see that up at the very top and as soon as you go to adwords.google.com then you can simply create a free account and then log in and once you log in, then you'll see something like this up here and you simply click on tools and click on keyword planner. And from there, we're just gonna click on the first option right here where it says search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. And you know, let's say we were interested in furniture, okay? Now, furniture is pretty broad. It's very general, all right? It's not, you know, people don't, pay for furniture, they pay for a specific furniture, right? So people might be willing to pay for furniture for you know, a model home and a realtor or a real estate company might be buying the furniture to decorate the home, you know, or hiring a uh, interior design person or company to desire, uh, design that home. Um, you know, people buy cheap furniture, expensive furniture, everything in between, right? All types of furniture, okay? So we're just gonna simply type that in just for the sake of uh, an example, okay, and show you what Google Keyword Planner does. But let me uh, teach you just a little bit about Google Keyword Planner, okay? Google Keyword Planner is free, and when you access it, it's simply going to give you different words or ideas that Google has been tracking for the past year, and it tells you how many searches have been done for specific keywords uh, each month for the past 12 months. So you'll see that as we start to move forward here. Okay, so furniture, and we'll leave everything as is. Okay, if you were in a different country and you wanted to just find keywords in a specific location, then you could change that. But I'm in America and we're uh, gonna keep it as English and to keep everything else the same, okay? So we're gonna click on Get Ideas afterwards. And so at this point, you'll notice that the system presents these two tabs right down here, all or ad group ideas and keyword ideas. Okay, so we're just gonna click on uh, 
keyword ideas in just a moment, but take a look down here and you'll see that the system groups, you know, furniture into different categories, okay, desks. He has the top of furniture, right? There's chairs, there's couches, bedroom furniture. So as discussed in terms of defining a niche is a specific need that someone is paying for that solution right now. Okay, we're not interested in building up a business that uh, doesn't have people who are willing to buy stuff right now who, or who aren't paying for stuff right now in this industry, okay? So obviously keep that in mind as you move forward here, but um, in the furniture industry in general, there's all types of categories or sub niches, okay, subcategories. And you could very well build a site entirely designed around beds, okay, or sessional sofas. Okay, or any of these other subcategories, okay, leather sofas, you could specialize in any of these areas. And the reason why you would want to do that is because you're able to get started off a lot faster, but most, most, most importantly, you're able to uh, deliver a specific solution to someone's specific needs or wants right now, okay? Placing a great deal of emphasis on that, um, those two words right now. Right. If you want to make money right now, well, then you've got to be able to solve a person's problem right now. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. And as far as the profitability goes, you know, you'll have to look at what you can buy the product at from your supplier if you're not creating the product yourself or manufacturing it. And, uh, and then find out how much you could potentially retail for. Okay. So that'll help you out with identifying the estimated profitability of a product. Okay. So if you're selling, say, you know, a, uh, you know, leather sofa and you found a supplier that you could get leather sofas from for, let's say $400 and you could retail them for 700, then, okay, you have a $300 estimated profit margin there. Okay. So when we're using Google Keyword Planner, we're just looking at words that will give us insight into whether or not people go on to the internet looking for those specific products, okay? So let's just take the example of, you know, selling leather sofas, okay? So we're gonna go in there and click on that category, and it's going to take, in this, take us into a, a number of different uh, keywords right here. And so, the idea here is to look at the average, oops, the average monthly searches right here, okay? And as it says right here on the question mark, basically just to summarize this, um, they're presenting this data based upon a 12 month trail, okay? So within the past 12 months, on average, people have been using this keyword right here this many times per month, okay, on average. So if I were in the business or wanting to go into the business of selling leather sofas and I found a supplier and I knew I could buy them at a pretty good price and retail them at a higher price, then this just gives us insight into what types of products specifically people are looking for. So red leather sofa, good to know, okay? I would check with my supplier or just verify with my supplier that, you know, did they have red leather sofas? Because that's in demand, you know? Um, we're looking for average monthly searches that ideally are above 50,000 or more. And that gives us a, a, an idea that there's enough people going online searching for this type of product, okay? And, you know, and the more specific it is, you know, the more um, I have a, a better idea you'll have of the specific type of product that you would want to have on your website, all right? So... As you can see here, you know, leather sofa doesn't, you know, that word right there doesn't indicate a specific type of leather sofa, but it does indicate that it is a leather sofa, not just a sofa in general, okay? So, you know, this could potentially be a, a good little niche that you could consider uh, pursuing, okay? As long as, like I said, you had a, a good supplier that you were working with and the uh, types of leather sofas people were, were looking for were the actual products you were selling, okay? So if you come down here a little, a little bit further, you can see that the demand, okay, the search volume is getting lower and lower. 
And as you can uh, you know, conclude that the, the lower the monthly search volume means that the lower demand there is for that type of search term. So people who are looking for black leather sofas or sofa, you know, the, what that means is they went to google.com and they typed in black leather sofa exactly, exactly as you see it. And that's been typed into Google on average 5,400 times each month all throughout America. Okay, because well, actually in all locations throughout the world rather, sorry. Okay, so, so again, if you were, uh, wanted to go into the, uh, the niche, okay, so helping people out with finding specific leather sofas, then this could possibly be a, uh, a niche that could turn out profitable for you, okay? So using Google Keyword Planner simply gives you an insight into confirming whether they, those people are going online to search for this stuff. Because if you're running an online business, that means that you gotta make sure that there's a demand for people going online, not offline. Okay, it doesn't really help you much if people buy leather sofas just in person, offline, like going down to a furniture store. Okay, you want to know if people are going onto the internet looking for these things yeah, because you're building up an internet business. Makes sense, right? So we're just going to come back here and give you a few other ideas, okay? So that was in leather couches and we could uh, go into the chair business okay we could go into your chairs and look at what kind of chairs people are looking for okay you could reverse engineer this type of thinking process and you could think okay well i don't have a supplier yet okay let's just assume that you didn't have a supplier yet and you're using google keyword planner to help you give you an idea of what supplier to choose well this could very well be a, um, a great approach to the take. And in fact, it's a great approach to the take that I take all the time. And so you can come along here and look at, well, there's these terms right here. Like dining chairs actually is more specific than just chairs or chair, right? So it is above 50,000, which is a good indication. Okay, so there's plenty of people going online searching for this stuff, for dining chairs specifically. Okay, but as you know, there's, there's all types of dining chairs, right? As you can see down here below, there's leather chairs, there's dining chair, leather chair, kitchen chairs, and it gets more specific the more we scroll down here. And we could very well click on this column right here, and the system will sort by highest to lowest. So dining chairs, kitchen chairs, Okay, so what to, you know, what to do if the search volume is below 50,000? Well, you can either search for another uh, subcategory that you might be interested in that does have more specific keywords that have a demand of 50,000 or higher each month, or you could very well build a, uh, you know, a niche business around kitchen chairs and connect the dots between the uh, profitability of you know, the potential profitability of the, uh, the retail and the wholesale price that you uh, can find out from your supplier and, and go that route, knowing that there's not as much of a demand compared to other categories that you could go in um, and just build that up and see how it goes, you know, because there's plenty of people who buy kitchen chairs every day all throughout the world. And so you would just want to look at all the different types of kitchen chairs and present those on your website, okay? You could have, you know, leather chairs um, for kitchen chairs, right? Um, and build a, a niche business around just kitchen chairs. Okay, and there's all types of variations of kitchen chairs that you could uh, research, okay? So, that's really how you go about using the Google Keyword Planner to help you identify niche keywords that give you insight into the type of business that you could build up that serves a specific audience with a specific need who are in the market right now to buy something um, specifically within that type of business you want to build up. So um, let's come back here and uh, just look at some of the other ones that you could look at. Okay. We uh, pointed out that um, there are two tabs here. Okay. So I, we went into the all 
you know, the added group ideas. Now, if you go into the keyword ideas, this kind of just helps you jog the memory and gives you a, a, a broader net to cast out into the ocean, so to speak, to gather uh, more ideas from uh, the search engine data from Google. Okay, so remember we typed in furniture. If we're interested in building up that, that type of business, then we could come down here and click on keyword ideas and it tells us, well, in general, people who type in that exact keyword furniture, there's you know a bit more than a half a million searches done per month just for that keyword alone. But down here, let's sort the column. And we have sofa, furniture stores, sofas, futon, whatever that is. <laughs> uh, beds, you can tell that I'm not in the furniture business. But the um, keywords that could lend themselves towards helping me dig a bit deeper, okay, is a bedroom furniture. Okay, that could be a pretty good one. Also, patio furniture. Okay, there's all types of specific patio furniture and also bedroom furniture that I could build a business around, okay? So the idea is to get specific and then build your site around that potentially as long as you have a good supplier that you're working with or else you have the product yourself and it's in demand. People are wanting to buy that product right now. Okay, people are buying patio furniture and bedroom furniture from people right now as we speak all throughout the world, okay? It's a... Uh, you know, pretty simple to just think about that. Okay, but um, if, if you're trying to sell something pretty obscure and so uncommon that hardly no one knows about it, then that's a different, completely different path you know, to take. Okay, we're talking about building up a business that you know, serves a specific audience who's looking for a specific need and they're already paying for it right now. Okay, that's the biggest idea to keep in mind as you go about choosing or discovering a niche that you're interested in building a business around, okay? So with that said, um, I'll uh, end this tutorial and go ahead and click on the, uh, the like button if you see this on Facebook or also leave a comment down below on our blog and let us know if you have any questions about this and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.